right, we're here. Welcome. After days tossed about by a stormy sea, the Zumbinis reach the shore of a peculiar land. Said them have already seen it. Time to figure out who's allergic to who. Uh, Alright. Maybe it's droopy eyes? No. Could be nose. It could be... Yeah, it's pie noses. This, it's pie all just noses. Because I do... Well, let's see what the help says. Feeling stuck? Don't worry, brave explorer. You have all the information you need to complete this challenge and get all your Zubinis through. I'm having a feeling it, it says it all for all... Wait, it doesn't. It actually says down here for al allergic cliffs on top. That's weird. And don't be afraid to make mistakes. Alright, so it almost is the same thing. Maybe it's um for certain maps it says something different. Yeah, but I do believe the logic cliffs only look at one or two features. They don't look at all the features. Yeah, that's why I'm assuming it's nose for this. I feel as though it's very hard to fail this one because you just have so much opportunities to pass. So you know, I don't feel as though you have to worry about it for the allergic cliffs too much. <laughs> You just wanted everyone else on the bottom, didn't you? You you weren't allergic to Splendid anything on the job. bottom. That's annoying. These stone guards have their rules, so do proceed with skill. Zumbini's one guard won't allow. The other guard surely will. Oh, so it's just the rules. They're not. It's. They're blue. <laughs> Another bunch. Oh boy. Oh yeah, you're gonna be seeing a lot of these guys. All right, so doesn't matter. We don't know okay. anything, so let's just throw you. Up. Away you go. All right. What about down here? All right. So I have no idea. I Move it. Let's just do blue, blue for now. Anyone to color okay. blue? All right. Um. No one else has blue noses anymore. Uh, droopy eyes. We must be selective about our clientele. Do you just want everyone going to the bottom seriously? Okay. Don't be shy. Uh, enjoy yourself. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw it on the bottom until people start failing. Welcome. Don't be shy. Mm, okay. Step right up. You don't be shy. You guys are so annoying. Oh. Uh uh. Sure. Hello. What about this? You'll do. You've done quite well. You've right. done quite well. How delightful. And so our brave travelers continue on through this dusty wasteland until they meet Arno, the almost omnivorous, one very hungry pizza troll. Oh, so they do say pizza troll. Flames? You're not flames. Huh. <laughs> Whatever you are, 
Make me a pizza! So, you can already tell that all the voices and sounds are just somewhat randomized, or whenever someone's supposed to speak. So, let's start off with just plain pizza. MORE TOPPINGS! The reason why I'm doing just plank pizza is because I remember this one time I had gone through every single topping and he still didn't want it. I did, I went through all the toppings. I did all combinations and it was down to one Zumbini then I just did a blank pizza because I'm like there's nothing else it could possibly be. And then he's like it's the perfect pizza and I'm like you gotta be kidding me. You just wanted sauce and dough and nothing else. Something must go. So this is actually the Wii make I'm playing on Steam. This was actually originally released like back a long time ago. More. Since this was on like Windows 95, I believe. I see. So do like this. So let's do these two just in case. Something must go! Alright, um... Oh, shoot. Well, let's Been there. This. Seen that? Still don't like it. Oh, I did that by accident. He probably just likes this then. Already? Jeez. Thank you, thank you. Alright, we got on the last try. So yeah. You can see there are other stones here. You got them all through! Good for you! You sound a little bit sarcastic there, sir. So there's actually gonna be up to three more of these guys here. Which makes it a little bit more difficult. Because now you got to divide up the toppings with more guys. Hold on! What's this? A campsite with hot we already food know. all ready to eat? Looks like a fine place for Zumbinis to relax. But when they're ready to move on, they'll need a group of 16 along the path. <laughs> So yeah, so we need to let me just go over more. Yeah, apparently we'll always let me go over more if we to put more zabinis in. So you can actually arrange just however you like and everything, I think. I don't know if they all magically get sorted to the very end at the end. But eh. Anyways, we have uh, let's get rid of anyone who's kind of unique here, like you, so it's easier for us. Uh, anyone else with like, a unique nose? I think you right there, you got unique nose. Uh, let's keep everyone with a blue nose in the back. I hate like segregating these guys up like this, but I'm like, uh, I kind of need to know what... Everyone has. This way you can take care of them. Let's put in this guy. This way he, they two match. Alright, and right there. Alright, so. We got one extra blue nose, so let's just get another blue nose in here. But something else matching down here. Hmm. Let's 
Let's just do droopy eyes, because we have enough droopy eyes. So now we have to pick a path, up or down. On the map, we still don't know what those paths are. But in my preference, I'd like up more. Also, right here, there are some Easter eggs. Oh yeah. Easter eggs. Hmm. Easter eggs. I was still checking for Easter eggs. No. Zumbinis must have something in common with their neighbor to sit on Captain Cajun's ferry. What? I wasn't paying attention. Welcome to the boat. Now hurry yourselves up and find your seat. So with this guy, as far as I know, he's the same difficulty on all difficulties. The only yeah, thing that gets difficult know. is the seating. Right now you see that there's only seating available for two people to sit next to one guy. But what will happen is later on, all these seats will be all next to each other. So now you need seats that have like one two three four for one seat in the middle so one guy has a match like I believe it was one of the four or all of the four I don't know how he decides it Fine, but I know you want to I don't really care but I know right now we just need one guy to be the same as a guy right on the other side so We'll just throw them down up until we get stuck, and then we'll try and figure out what we need to do. Yeah, you go, you got it. Make them all match. There you go, you got it. Ah, sure. Yeah, that was easy. But yeah, like I said, only one of his one feature. Color, flower, and lily pad shape too may be the keys that get them through. And this is the most difficult one of the three to the north. And if you look right here, just right at the bat, and you're just a little bit overwhelmed, like, what am I looking at? Right off the bat, you can see there's frogs and there's lily pads. But they each have stripes and all these have colors and patterns. So what you need to do is match the frogs to some sort of feature of the lily pads to get from one side to the other. So let's do the pink frog for now. I do see a pink path and it goes to the other side. So you put them on, Zubin will jump on. And the frog will drag it to the side. I do believe this frog is only good for two two tries, or well, two zoominis, and then they'll swim away down the river. So we need to do this for multiple frogs. So I do see a blue path right off the bat works. Let's do that. Let's see if this red path works. It does. So let's do the red path. What about this blue path up here? Does this work? Yes, it does. I tend to do color first because this way the frogs don't get into the same lane as others and get in the and stop the frogs from going across. Because what it could happen is, let's say we do the leaf shape for the lily pads, and that will actually it may intersect the colors or the shapes of the designs. 
and prevent frogs from going across, because they'll ram into each other. The one may need to go north, the other needs to go south, and they can't move. So it's safer just to do it one, one feature at a time. But we're ready to start looking at other features, so... Does this go across? Yes, this does go across. One of these two spots will work. And it's this part right here. Alright, now we need another design. Because we still need two more frogs on here, so... Hmm. No, that won't work. Ah, uh, the C's over here will work. So C, C. Here you go. And now we need to put this guy back. Where was he? I believe it was right here. Right here, right, right here. These won't matter because they're touching each other. But yeah, as long as I don't pull them at the very bottom and get stuck, we're good. Can I pick these guys up? No. Once they're on here, they're stuck. Alright. Be back. Now we need one more type of frog, so. Hmm. And these little curly stuff. Flowers, I guess. Hmm. Now, later on, it'll get more difficult, so the game will actually give you a fairy wand. Because there'll be too many different designs and whatnot. Or we just want you to correct a little bit on the lily pads. But then to make it even harder, crabs will start coming on here and crawling across, and they will have the same shape and designs as the loot pads. And they'll actually get everything all clustered and broken and everything and prevent frogs from going across. So, this is actually one of the more, that's why I consider this to be the most difficult one of the north. I, I don't see anything. I'm probably look, not looking at this, a specific design. Specific. Uh, we still have these crescents. Do the well, not crescent. I don't know what they're called. But this shape. Um, where is? Does this shape go across at all? No. Alright, so these frogs are not being used, it looks like, at all. So it has to be one of these up frogs. Maybe the diamonds? No, I still don't even see any diamonds. What about X's? No X's. Right, the game always lets you find a way. What's the way? It has to be the X's, but no. X's looks like they get stuck too. There's no other colors available. I can't imagine that it's just gonna be like, oh, you're done. You're done. I'm missing something. I'm so missing something, aren't I? I found it. Yeah. Let's go reverse so I don't get lost. If 
right there where that blue X is. Oh boy, that took a while. Well, that's what I'm getting at, where it's a little bit more difficult to the north. It's just because of the frogs. If the frogs weren't here, it'd be easy. Up. There you go. And that's why with the, when the crabs come, it becomes so much more difficult. So much more difficult. All right, we got this in the bag. I was say the frog should have remembered. Let's see if there's any Easter eggs. Well, I don't think there is, because I think they just want to keep it simple for the kids. Probably. Make it fun during the breaks, the campsites, well, technically the save points, and then make it simple during the actual levels. You gonna say anything, sir? No? I see no zoomies up behind, so let's continue. Zumbinis will get a rise out of these stone hexes wink, wink. if they can make the right connections. Um. Oh, so this is the game where you see all these powered tiles you need to put guys on I did not mean to do that and then they'll get powered but then before it to get powered to the next side it needs to be like that they need to match so it's showing here nose so simple now you just gotta do that for everyone else I did Doing the wrong spot. Now here's the problem. We need to match feet. Hmm. Yeah, that is going to be a problem for us. Are we able to swap anyone out? Hmm. You should be able to swap somebody out for this. I can't believe I made it impossible for us. Um, need to match feet. Feet, feet, feet. Can we match the noses or something? No, these are the only two that fit these nose. Yeah, this is to keep it that way to make it easier for us. Well, if we take you out and you out, you will definitely match here in the bottom. So, what we could do is... And you know what? Both of you match. 
you are both unique. So let's just keep you over here and make you simple. I was gonna say, why don't you my other guy? Well done, and there you go. Wise Easy. And trusted guide. It's just you gotta do thinking. And that's why it's an educational game. It makes you think. It makes you look for patterns. But I think that's why any kid playing this game will probably benefit in the long run. Because they'll be able to find things Amazing easier. Amazing indeed! Another relaxing campsite ready and waiting for some babies! They'll need their rest. The darkest, most dangerous part of the journey is yet to come! something else <sighs> and guys uh, let's cut to the break and when we get back they'll be proceeding on their merry way so see ya